All right, fight clock is moving. We are now underway. Gonna be interesting to see how this fight stylistically plays out between a true striker and Gaston Wellrounder. This is a big time fight deal. People have been tying for this matchup for a really long time. They wanted to see how the striker would handle someone that would try to force them into uncomfortable situations. Let's see how this thing plays out. Right hand punch to the clinch. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. And they are exchanging leather early. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch there by Shevchenko. Leg kick. Oh, combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid and picky. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. All the right punches there for her. Left hand also good. She blocked the punch. Just over three minutes to go. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and she gets the takedown there, DC. Now we'll see what she can do with it. Let's see how she secures this position that she Shevchenko's works so hard to get. Shevchenko's looking for that arm triangle now. A triangle, a triangle. There it is. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Nice uppercut by her there. She's got great instincts when it comes to throwing that shot. Oh, she's got great instincts. The moment her opponent starts to dip her head, she instantly throws that up. Oh, Horn sounds for the end of round one. DC take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division, and if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best game in the whole UFC. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Effective punch there by Shevchenko. Nice combination there by Shevchenko. Punctuates it with the kick. And if you're going to stand in trade with Shevchenko, Better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what she does. She's very good at mixing it up and leaving you with a kick at the end. I think back to her fight with Holly Holm. I thought that was one of her greatest performances to date, when she was landing those beautiful combinations and really dictating to Holly how the fight played out. Pretty good straight punch there by Shevchenko. Visibly limping here. Real quick leg kick. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. 
throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Lead left by Shevchenko. And again, she slips off the center line, avoids the contact. Great head movement, really, from her the entire fight time. Great head movement. You can see that in the gym, they got the rope tied to two poles in the, in the boxing ring. She's moving side to side, working that drill. She's a very hard person to land a clean strike. Clinch. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Liver kick. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Oh, she connected with that right hand, DC. She's so fast when she throws it, there is no tell as to when that right hand is coming. Big kick lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big head kick lands. So again, they will clinch here. Oh, she lands an uppercut to the head. That will leave a mark. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. Donna, nice entry into the finish direct. Takes out attempt late in the round, and she gets it. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes oh! on. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is, the UFC women's fight.